see if we can get some hummingbirds in here too. Uh, so I chopped this video. This was meant to go up with the giveaway video I posted yesterday and I chopped it because I thought I just want the video to be giveaway. That one, just keep it separate. So today um, what we're going to be doing is like discussing the difference between a decal, a reverse stamp, advanced stamping. It's pretty much all the same thing. You're just making a decal. The only difference is um, I would rather just do them on a stamper it's easier but you can absolutely put them on a mat or a piece of plastic whatever and reverse the image and that's the only difference I feel like that's what a reverse stamp is so you are doing an image and you need it reversed say it's a bird facing this way and you need another bird facing that way that's the only reason I would put it on a mat and reverse it but that doesn't necessarily mean that's what everybody thinks of the different terminology. Um, when you're making a decal, it really doesn't matter if you want to do it on a mat or if you want to do it on a stamper. I just feel like it's easier just to do it on a stamper. Bossy birds. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I did put the link down below to the giveaway so you can go enter that too. And um, thanks for joining me. Leave me alone. Okay. Here we have, hello, finger printed up. Here we have the new tea and coffee plates. And I don't really like bobas, but I absolutely have to have anything that's even remotely tea or coffee. So this is M273. I just wanted this plate. I wanted both these plates. She'll get ready to show the other one. Super cute. And then here's the other one. This is um, M288. I absolutely love this one. I know I have more coffee plates from Maniology. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love these. So cute. Caffeinating. <laughs> Love in a cup. These are adorable. Powered by coffee. That's me. I think that's a lot of us. What are these? Even? Oh, beans. Little bean faces. Those are cute. Okay, so let's move on. The differences. Um, I grabbed a couple polishes. My nails right now, I have... Um, ethereal canyon you've seen it before I got it from the polish pickup in May I do have more polish pickup polishes coming for this month but I haven't got them yet but here that is and it's so pretty and that is just a sticker that I, I like threw on just to see if it showed up very good over this so don't worry about that all right so I grabbed I'm not going to go crazy with a bunch of different like colors to color in. We'll keep it kind of simple. I grabbed the Hit the Bottle, make mine as lug, a mudslide. I don't have a lot left in this, and I need to order another one of those. That's another one of those Hit the Bottle polishes I use and use and use, and I really love it. And this is another one I have, Coco. This one's from Maniology. Um, it is a really good just straight-up brown. I don't know. This one's a little metallic and kind of gold. I don't think that's going to show up very well over here. I don't know. And then this beautiful brain freeze. Pretty pink. Again, I don't know. Over this, I probably should keep it pretty simple and kind of a cream instead of doing anything that's like shifty like this. That's probably not going to show up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I put that back up because that one is definitely not going to show because it's kind of like a... It looks gold, pink. Um, this is Sweet Peach. It's a peachy pink. I think that will look good. So decide on your polishes. If you want to use more to color in, that's fine. You can do that too. All right, so a decal first up. Grabbing a stamper. Doesn't matter. Whatever you, you want to grab is fine. First, I'm going to make a decal on the stamper itself. 
So I think this is the quickest way to do this. And I think I want this little cup here, the little coffee cup with the whipped topping on it. I may have to grab some white too to put on that. So I'm gonna take my darkest color. If you've got a dark base, you wanna do the opposite. You wanna start with a white color or a lighter color when you're stamping for contrast. I am not prepared. And I'm just gonna pick that up on the stamper. I'm gonna clean up the little bit that I don't want on here. Now, you can use a, a dotting tool, a toothbrush, what a toothbrush, a toothpick, whatever you're most comfortable with. I personally do not like dotting tools because I feel like I, I pull up. It's, it's a me thing, whatever works best for you. That's what you need to do. For me, I would rather use a brush and I have two that are pretty small. Um, these both came from Maniology, but whatever. <laughs> Get your brushes wherever you want. Um, this is a longer one and this is a shorter one for little bitty details. If you've got room on a stamper, on your stamper that you're using, go ahead and just put some polish on it that you can dab off of. Um, I do have a discount code, guideline 325 Use it, please. Um, so Maniology has been kind of like cutting into my um, little bit of commission I make because <laughs> They've been offered like 20% off at times, so for sure make sure you're using whatever's best, whatever gets you the most. Okay, this is a little out of focus, and why won't you focus? Okay, I'm going to try to keep it where you can see it, but I can see it too. I, I obviously can't paint like that, so I'm going to color in this whipped cream. Okay, before I got distracted there. I was telling you, Maniology keeps, like, they do lives and stuff, and I noticed that they have, like, 20% off sometimes, so I think everybody's kind of in the um, hurt and crunch for getting any kind of commission from them <laughs> for doing videos when you can get, like, 20% off with them. Okay, and there is, you can turn it over and see what you missed. So that's what I like about making decals like straight on a stamper like this. And then when that dries, stick it directly to my nail. Bada boom, bada boom, bang, that's that's it. That's how to make a decal on a stamper. Okay. Next, why would you want to do it on a mat? And that is called reverse stamping. So, when I do that, I take some wet and wild nail protector. Actually, let's try the bases loaded lacquer base coat. I'm sure that will work too. I'm just gonna paint a little piece on here and let that dry a little. All right, so we're, while we're waiting for that to dry, I went ahead and I decided to go ahead and color in the rest of that. So there's that. Then that when that dries, it'll just come right off. Okay, so that's that's dry, still a little sticky. Okay, so the only reason and I'm not seeing anything on this plate that I would need this reversed for, other than both these cups have a handle going this way. So the only reason I put anything on a mat like this to do a reverse stamp means that you need to flip it. So you ha have one cup with the handle going this way, but you want it going the other way. Um, here's the little coffee pot. Um, we can do, oh my gosh, the little kitty. Let's do that one. Um, so you want, like, maybe you're wanting duplicate stamps, um, but you need 
one of them facing the other way, you need to reverse that. And that's when you would do this. The only other reason to put it on the mat, like, I mean, old school, that's all we used to do. We didn't do it on a, a, a stamper because you couldn't see through the stamper. So what, I, I, it never even occurred to me to do it just right on the stamper. So um, old school, me, since I am old and another stupid birthday coming up, and I'm gonna be even older, like, well, I know, age is just um, in your head, right? Because, like, I'm super immature, so I think that's what keeps me young. Um, yeah, that didn't do very good, so let's get rid of that. I'm sitting here yapping and instead of stamping. Um, okay, get rid of this. this. So, here's why you put it on. First of all, that is kind of already top coated, so you don't have to worry so much about smudging when you put top coat on it, um, because when you stamp this and color it and you peel it up, it's going to be reversed and flipped over the other way. Um, that's not really a problem anymore now that we know that we can just stamp top coat on. So I'm going to put that kitty on there, and it didn't stick. Because this is um, not sticky stamping. There we go. Okay, so got that kitty on there. See, and to me, it's really hard to color that in. Let's zoom in there. Got a little bad kitty. A little bit kitty. All right. So. It's kind of hard to see. It's much easier when you can just hold it up in your face and color it um, on a stamper, but for whatever reason, we need this flipped and turned the other way. So we're gonna color in the cup. Um, and I find that when you're coloring decals like this. See, this is still a decal, but this is what I consider to be a reverse stamp, reverse stamping. But we're making a decal. Again, you don't don't use a quick dry top coat on anything you decal like this till it's on your nail. Then you need to top coat the crap out of it. But I'm gonna use Wet n Wild Nail Protector. Woo, so zoomed in. And when she dries, I'm gonna top coat it. All right, advanced stamping. So to me, advanced stamping is like a negative space or a layered stamp or shrinking or stretching. So this is dry now, but it's not gonna peel up if I try to peel that up now. So I definitely want to put a little of this nail protector over the top of that. So when that dries, I can peel that up and stick it on my nail. Okay, so another kind of version of what I think is advanced stamping is maybe you're just going to put a background behind something. So let's do this. Oh, 
I got super lucky there since I didn't put a sticky base coat on. So you're going to start with something really subtle like the bubbles and the little lines there. And then I'm going to put some base coat over that because I'm going to stick that other one over the top of it. Okay, you probably can't hear, but my husband, I think, is a little mad that I'm in here filming on Father's Day, but he was mowing, and, you know, he ain't my daddy, so he's in there banging around and beeping around, making stuff. Uh, I think he's annoyed that he's having to do anything for himself today, because <laughs> he knows I'm filming, <laughs> so he's being as loud as he can. I don't think you can hear it because I have this mic on, but... It helps take care of background noise. But, you know, you just need a little FYI. All right, well, while our little decal is still drying here, I really like the way that looks. So I think on these two fingers, I've got some polish on them. What have I got going on there? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, like do this on these two fingers, too. Um, I mean, I really do not miss doing these because oh, that like having to see, oh, is it going to peel up yet and think it'll peel up and then end up ruining it. Who remembers these days? And the stretching, it's like stretching it a little bit. Oh, I'm a scared. Um, oh yeah, no. See, <laughs> I do not miss having to do this. Okay, we got the little kitty peeled up. And um, then I'm Going to place that on the nail. Okay, and then I'm going to take my scissors and kind of trim around that. And you're going to put that top coat on in a bead onto your nail. And you're not going to touch it with the brush. You're just going to use the brush to pull that glob across. And then let it dry. Okay, what do you think? I think they're super cute. I really like this. I love this polish. This polish is just gorgeous. And if you didn't get any, um, I'm heartbroken for you. I'm so glad I got it because it's so beautiful. All right, so I'm going to put some Adore Colors uh, Matte World on this because uh, I want to see what it looks like matte. And if I don't like it, I can just put a shiny top coat over it. Right. All right, did I answer everybody's questions? Like, did I, was I clear? <laughs> Are you still confused over what's what? If you have any more questions, please put them down below. I'd be happy to answer them if I know. And if I don't know, I'll shoot you over somebody that does. All right, here they are in matte. I think they're really cute in matte. All right, if you haven't already entered the giveaway, uh, the big giveaway for the month, it is in the description box down below. It's the last video I posted. It says giveaway. I didn't want to combine that video and this video because it's too confusing. People ask me months later, you know, oh, do you have a video describing how to do decals? Yeah, I do, but I don't know what it's called. <laughs> right. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, I've got tons of stuff coming up, different stuff I've never done before, and that's it. Thanks for joining me. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you get in the outfield. <laughs> yeah! <laughs>
Oh, you got both hands. She'll bring it back to you. <laughs> Penny's confused. We play ball or play frisbee? <laughs> Bat, face, whatever, just as long as you hit it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sad. There it is. <laughs> Both hands. Watch the ball. Both hands. Hit it like you mean it, man. Yeah. <laughs> 